Elizabeth Bathory, a name shrouded in blood and mystery. A woman of nobility, yet her legacy is marred by horrifying tales of murder and brutality. The echoes of her alleged crime still reverberate through the annals of history, painting a chilling portrait of a ruthless killer. Yet, the truth remains elusive, shrouded in a cloak of controversy and conjecture. Was she a victim or a villain? But who was the woman behind the bloody tales? Let's delve into the life of Elizabeth Bathory. Born in 1560 in the heart of Hungary, Elizabeth was cradled in the arms of one of the kingdom's most powerful Protestant families. The Bathory family tree, steeped in nobility and influence, served as a backdrop for Elizabeth's early life. Her lineage was one of power, prestige, and privilege, with her relatives holding high-ranking positions, from governors to princes. Growing up, Elizabeth was surrounded by an aura of authority, her family's name opening doors and silencing rooms. She was tutored in the classics, languages, and the art of governance, a testament to her family's expectations of her future role. But it wasn't just power and prestige that marked her early years. Elizabeth was also exposed to the darker side of her family's history. Tales of violence, cruelty, and even dealings with the occult were whispered in the corridors of her ancestral home. Destined for a life of power and influence, Elizabeth's journey took a significant turn when she entered the sacred bond of marriage. Married to Ferenc Nadasdi, Elizabeth found herself within the cold looming walls of Kaktice Castle. Set atop a hill in the heart of Hungary, the castle was her new world, a world that was as grand as it was foreboding. Here, the young bride began her journey into matrimony, a journey that would later be shrouded in whispers of darkness and death. Life at Kaktice was a strange blend of nobility and isolation. While the castle's grand halls echoed with the laughter of esteemed guests, its stone walls bore silent witness to the unfolding of a chilling narrative. The castle's grandeur masked an ominous presence, a presence that began to seep into the stories that flowed from its gates. Whispers began to circulate, whispers of strange happenings within the castle's walls. The once lauded Lady of Kaktice was now the subject of hushed conversations and fearful glances. But as the castle's shadows grew longer, so did the horrifying rumors of torture and murder. Elizabeth Bathory, now whispered in hushed tones as the Blood Countess, was accused of the most horrifying crimes. Her name became synonymous with the macabre and unthinkable, casting a dark shadow over her prestigious lineage. The rumors were as chilling as they were grotesque. It was said that she had an insatiable hunger for beauty, a hunger that drove her to the unimaginable, bathing in the blood of young innocent women. This chilling tale passed down through generations, paints a horrifying picture of a woman consumed by vanity and willing to commit unspeakable acts to preserve her youth. The sheer brutality of her alleged actions left a chilling mark on her era, turning her into a figure of fear and fascination. In 1610, the whispers turned into roars, and Elizabeth Bathory was detained, never to see the world beyond her castle walls again. Her legacy, shrouded in mystery and terror, continues to captivate and horrify us to this day. Confined within her castle, Elizabeth Bathory breathed her last in 1614, leaving behind a legacy steeped in blood and controversy. The exact circumstances of her death, much like her life, are shrouded in mystery, her motives and the true number of her victims remaining an enigma to this day. Elizabeth was a woman of power and nobility, yet her name is forever intertwined with gruesome tales of torture and murder. Were these stories of her bathing in the blood of young women for eternal youth true, or just the products of a time where superstition often overrode fact? We may never know. What we do know is that Elizabeth Bathory's legacy has far outlived her. Her chilling story has served as a dark inspiration for countless vampire tales throughout the centuries. This connection to the supernatural has only added to the intrigue and controversy surrounding her life, making her a figure of enduring fascination. Yet, beneath the horror there's a question that continues to echo through the ages. Was Elizabeth Bathory truly the ruthless murderer history has painted her to be? Or was she a victim of a conspiracy caught in the crossfire of power and politics? The debate continues, the truth as elusive as ever. Elizabeth Bathory, a woman of power, a suspected murderer, a legend. Her story continues to haunt us, a chilling reminder of the darkness that can lurk within the human heart.